In today's video, I'm going to be talking about AI Merce and what this software does for e-commerce businesses and how you can use it as an e-commerce business or as an agency if you are watching this and you're an email marketing agency. My name is Gavin. I run an email and SMS marketing agency. We have done over $5.7 million in the last year from an email revenue perspective, so plenty of experience when it comes to email marketing, and we have a bunch of cool free resources which you can check out in the description of this video, but let's get into it. AI Merce, what does this software actually do? Their down and dirty pitch is that it increases your flow revenue by 10 to 20%. Now, how it does that is it installs a pixel that is more robust compared to the standard Klaviyo pixel, and it allows you to track your subscribers. Note that it's not random people, it is subscribers for longer. And what that means is you're able to trigger automations within Klaviyo over a longer period of time. So let's say I subscribe to your newsletter, right? And then two weeks later, I come back to your website. That pixel that Klaviyo could have installed on my browser might have degraded. And let's say I add an item to your cart. All of a sudden, right? All of a sudden, I'm no longer getting an abandoned cart email because the metric or the pixel that Klaviyo installed is no longer tracking me. What this software does is it allows you to have a pixel that lasts for up to one year instead of seven days on Safari specifically. And obviously there's a lot of people using Chrome and all that good stuff. But essentially what this does is it allows you to track them for longer. And it increases the amount of flow emails that you send and increases the flow revenue. Now I'm gonna show you a live example of that currently happening within one of my client's interfaces. I've kept them anonymous, but nonetheless, it illustrates a point. We've only had this software running for I think four days. So let's just jump in and I'll show you what that looks like and then I'll show you how to set this stuff up. So this here is the dashboard of AI Merce. And what it's essentially showing us is that we have the uh, total revenue that was happening previously. And then with AI Merce, which is AI Merce capturing subscriber or customer data points, and then being able to send them abandonment emails, which we have set up in Klaviyo, the sales that we've managed to recover. So as you can see here, roughly 23% uh, increase in revenue due to AI Merce because we've managed to recover one sale that an abandoned checkout flow sent to a subscriber uh, that is triggered off of the added to checkout AI Merce metric that Klaviyo did not pick up generated this revenue. So we've been able to generate an additional $423.75 since turning on this flow which was three days ago. So as you can see here the flows are recovering uh, $1,344 and then now they're recovering 1,797, and then 2,221, AI Merce has recovered that sale, right? So how is AI Merce actually determining if that revenue is being generated by them or if it's being generated by Klaviyo and the sale would have happened anyway? Let me show you. This here is all the flows that we have set up. Now within AI Merce, or rather within the account prior to AI Merce, we had your uh, abandoned cart, your browse abandon, your checkout started flows kind of already all set up, right? But those were triggered off of the Klaviyo metrics. Like, let me let me quickly show you here. So if we jump into, for example, this abandoned cart flow, this is triggered off of the Klaviyo added to cart metric, right? If we click that, it's added, it's the Klaviyo add to cart metric, right? But then if we go into AI Merce, right? So we'll jump into a different one here we have the AI Merce abandoned cart flow, which is their metric, right? So it's taking people who were not, who were anonymous before, registering them in our Klaviyo account, and then saying, hey, those people that were previously anonymous have now added an item to their cart, which is this right here, okay? And we can actually see how many of those metrics were recovered if we click the metric itself, which is right here. And we turned on the automation on the 21st, and it looks like we're recovering these people, 40, 12, 10, right? So we're revealing otherwise anonymous added to cart metrics and then able to send more abandoned cart emails. Now, this is essentially increasing the amount of flow emails that we're sending. Now we did this for three, I believe three key metrics from the specific account. Let me show you. When you install Amherst, it adds the following metrics to your Klaviyo account. Added to cart, checkout started, page viewed, placed order, viewed product, and then this one here, which I'm not 100% sure what that is to be honest at the moment, but these are the metrics that we have. One, two, three, four, five. We can trigger flows off of every single one of these metrics, just like we can in Klaviyo, but these metrics are more robust and last longer. 
So what we then do is we duplicate all of our abandoned cart flows and abandonment flows that we already have set up. So let's take a look. We have this flow, the abandoned cart flow that's set to Clavio. Cool, every seven days it's generating $1,617 on average. We also have checkout. We have the abandoned cart reminder, SMS only. This has been misnamed, so the client has misnamed this, but this is checkout started. Now we have checkout started for AI Merce. We also have, let's see if we can find the browse, viewed product. Viewed product, that's the regular viewed product flow, the browse abandon flow. What we've then done is we've duplicated every single one of these abandonment flows, but instead of having it trigger off of the uh, regular metric on the store, we're triggering it off of AI Merce's metric instead. They're the exact same flow, we're just triggering it off of AI Merce. So let me give you an example. We have the browse abandon flow, okay? Now we wanna have a browse abandon flow triggered off of AI Merce's metric rather than Clavio's metric. We wanna keep them both live, but the AI Merce metric is gonna be longer. And I'll show you what filters you need to set up to prevent any clashes from happening within those flows. But here we go. Browse abandon flow, okay? We're gonna hit clone. Yep, we're gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna do this. You see this here, the browse abandoned? We're gonna change the metric to be viewed product AI Merce. So now the metric that triggers this flow is the AI Merce metric, okay? And now let's see what that flow looks like. Here we go, we have that flow. It's the exact same flow that we had previously, but now it's being triggered off of the viewed product AI Merce metric. Now let's go ahead and click that, click that trigger and see what happens. To ensure that this flow is correct, we need to filter certain things from happening. For example, if we have a browse abandoned, we don't want to also have an abandoned checkout, and then somebody views a product, then starts checkout, we can't have those two flows, the browse abandoned and the abandoned checkout flow, going simultaneously. So what we do in our abandonment flows is we exclude people based off of other metrics that they might do to prevent those flows from doubling up. So in this case, we have the browse abandoned flow with AI Merce, right? It's triggered off of somebody viewing the item, but then we want to filter people out if they place an order, if they start checkout, if they add to cart, and if they viewed a product again since starting this flow. We also want to filter them out if they've checkout started AI Merce and added to cart AI Merce. So essentially we're going further down in the abandonment process. So somebody views a product, adds an item to cart, starts checkout. Those are three different flows that we should have set up. We don't want to have overlap with those flows if somebody does two of those things. So we need to go down the stream essentially and exclude people from the earlier stages of the stream if they're being talked to in the later stages. So for example, somebody views a product and let's say they then start checkout but abandon that process. We don't want the browse abandonment flow to be talking to them. We want the abandoned checkout flow to be talking to them because they reach the abandoned checkout stage. And that's why we add these filters. The checkout started, the checkout started AI Merce flow as well and they rather the metric. And that essentially makes it so it's all excluding people along the way. Guys, I hope that makes sense. This software is really, really good. It's pretty straightforward to set up. I can usually get it done in about 30 minutes for each one of my clients. Um, highly, highly recommend it. It's kind of like a no-brainer. I think currently they're doing a 30-day free trial as well. So well, well worth reviewing it. Full transparency, just to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer, they actually sponsor my newsletter as well. So I wanna make sure there's no bias of opinion here. And if there is, I need to make sure that's clear. These guys sponsor my newsletter as well, but I use them for a lot of my clients, as I'm sure you can see. Now, speaking of my newsletter, if you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and check out the link in the description. There's a bunch of cool resources down there and an option to actually subscribe as well. Super cool stuff. I actually post and talk about valuable stuff, unlike I feel like a lot of the other email marketers out there. So check that out. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the software. Thanks for watching, guys.